Hi everybody and thanks for joining me today. Today is the second of my Snapseed videos and today I just wanted to delve a little bit more deeper into the tools and just some of the features that you could use to edit your pictures. For this one I'm going to use a little bit more of the, the tools just so that you can see a little bit more of a wider range of the tools. Now one of the things I spoke about last time but I didn't show you was the curves tool. So within curves, if you've used Photoshop, you'll have used you'll you'll be really familiar with curves. If not, it's just a way of manipulating the images and just giving you a little bit more control over the images. So as you can see here, there's already some presets if you wanted to um, use the presets. And as you can see, whenever there's a preset, the little blobs on the on the histogram curve changes, and that just shows what what they've done. But if you wanted to if you wanted to use the curves for yourself, um, we go into curves and we go into this button here. And this means you can work on RGB, so that way you're working on all, all the colors at one time, or you can decide to pull out one of the colors. So if you decided that actually you wanted to just work on the blue, and then you just move the curve. if we go into RGB and if I hold the button there that's it without anything and that's it with what we've edited so without and that's us with edited so you can see that sky's a lot bluer because we worked on the blue and so if we're just pulling everything so that's gone way too far So for here, actually, I really want to make this as contrasty as possible. And I'm, I'm going to zoom in here because I want to check that I'm not losing the detail. And you can see there that actually we've really made really made that stand out a lot more. But we still have that, that detail in there. So yes, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to click OK. So because we're editing for black and white, if we were editing for colour, I would do a lot more work here. But because I'm editing for black and white, I'm happy with that because I think that's going to give me enough of a basis. Into looks, um, and we have a look at the, the filters, we can apply fine art, which is my absolute favourite one. I just think it gives such a nice basis. But actually, if I come out of that for a minute, so if I deselect that and go into tools, there is a button for black and white. So, and the black and white gives you the six options across the bottom. So you can have film, dark and sky, dark, bright, contrast, and neutral. So actually probably the contrast and neutral would be the ones that I would that I would go for. But I, I tend to prefer fine art. So I'm gonna go back into tools, back into looks, and add fine art in there as well. So it probably is in between the, the first two. I'm just going to have a zoom in. Yep, so that's looking quite nice. So I'm very happy with how that's looking. So we've added in our tools, we've had a look at curves. Now let me just show you something today as well. So say I really like these these white marks on the building. I think you can see the repairs, you can see the age, you can see the character of the building. But there could be a there could be a reason that you would want to actually take one of these marks off. And so to do that you would go into tools and you go into healing. This is such a cool little tool. So the secret is to zoom in as far as you can. And I'm just gonna highlight this section here. So and you can see that that's added that back in. It's done not too bad a job at rebuilding the brickwork in there. So actually I'm really happy at that and when you zoom out it's not too obvious that, that you've done that. So that's your healing tool and that's a really handy tool to use for the future. So I'm going to say yep, I'm going to keep that. So another really good tool here to use is tune image. So your tune, tune image to, if you move up the screen, up and down the screen, that gives you the menu for the different things that you can control here. So I want to have a look at contrast, and then for once we've now selected contrast, and so we can then 
move that way or that way. So that would be helpful if I said to the right gives you as contrast as you can and to the left it takes all the contrast out. So I want to make it contrasty but not too contrasty. Yep, I'm happy with that. I think that's you still start you're still seeing the detail in the brick, so that's really good. So the next one I want to look at is the vignette, and that's this one here. So just to, to make it more extreme, so you can move where where that sits. But I want this to be in the middle, and so you can use your fingers to move it inwards or outwards. So I'm just going to move that inward because I, I want to keep as much of those circles as possible. So that's it without, that's it with. So I think it adds enough that I'm going to keep that. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. So this is coming together quite nicely. And so what I want to do now is I want to go into the brush tool. Everybody knows this is my absolute favorite tool. So we're going to brush, we're automatically in dodge and burn, and we're in plus 10. So that means we're making it lighter. So I'm going to zoom in because this one's a little bit more tricky because actually I just want to really pull the contrast of where the light would naturally be hitting. And in that middle circle because I really want to bring out the details of these never ending arches. I also just want to bring out a little bit of detail of the stonework at the front here. So yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think actually I've gone a little bit too extreme, so I'm going to do a minus five and just gently brush the bricks at the front here because I think I've just added a little bit too much there. Yep. So I really like that. I think that's working well. I think that's standing out really nicely. So I'm going to say yes. Yep. So I'm happy with this picture. Now, if I wanted to save these two these settings to use for another day I can I can do this so I can go into looks and I can add so we'll call this bridge three because I've done this before and if I click OK then those settings are saved for another day so I'm happy with this one now I think that's that's come together quite nicely and so I use the export tool and as always, save a copy, never do save as, always save a copy. And that is us. Thank you so much for watching and I will do another one of these next week and we'll just keep building up the, the tools and if there's anything in particular you'd like me to cover, I think next week we might do a colour one so I can show you a bit more detail around curves and also around masking um, as well. I think that would be a really good one to do for, for next week. If you let me know in the comments below and if you could also like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks very much everybody.